Hi everyone, my name is Celestin. When I was 10 years old, I understood for the first time that everyone that really were you born could define the rest of your life. When I was 14 years old, I built my first company to fight global inequality. And today, we are building signature biosciences to make sure that everyone in the planet can access precision diagnostics. We're starting with breast cancer prognosis. When a woman has breast cancer, the first step is a surgery to remove the tumor. And after that, chemotherapy can be done to prevent the cancer from coming back. But sometimes, there is no relapse. And in that case, there is no need for chemo. In fact, one woman out of two do not get any benefit from taking chemotherapy. There are tests that exist to guide the treatment decision. But there is one issue. The main test, there is one company that has a monopoly on the market. And because of the technical complexity of running the test, they have one single centralized lab, one sophisticated lab that runs tests for the entire planet. So wherever you take the test, the samples, they all have to be fl flown all the way to that single lab in California. The test costs $4,000 and takes up to three weeks. So in reality, there are about one million women every year that are being overexposed to chemo just because they don't access testing. That is unacceptable, and we're here to change that. We have invented a groundbreaking technology that can turn these kind of complicated tests into simple kits that are designed to be decentralized. So any hospital can run our test in-house. That's so much more sustainable. Our technology is using the PCR machines, our friends from COVID. So we've got multiple patents on the technology. And for this first test, we're using the same biomarker panel, the same biology used in the gold standard test to build our test. This has been preclinically validated with a hospital La Paz in Madrid. So a hospital can get our kit, they use their PCR machines, and they do everything in-house. And they love it. We secured 20 millions in LOIs from the best European hospitals. We can really take over the market in the US, in Europe, and internationally. Because we are offering a test that is clinically equivalent, but that goes from three weeks to just a few hours. It's a test that could be up to 10x cheaper, but also, when a hospital is running the test themselves, they make money. They can generate revenue as opposed to sending that out to a third-party lab. And finally, it's a complete seamless integration. Hospitals already have everything it takes to start running our tests. So we can really take over the, the, the market and expand the, the global market. We could 4x the number of people accessing the test. That's really increasing the market size for us. And that's the team. We are bioengineers from Oxford University and Imperial College London, backed by Y Combinator. Our team has world-renowned professors and industry leaders. And with that team, we can really take over the market by building a portfolio of tests. We're starting with breast cancer because with our biosimilar approach, we can really disrupt this $3.2 billion market really fast. In this market, the regulatory, the reimbursement, and the clinical guidelines are already in place. But then, we can really expand beyond uh, building biosimilars. We're starting to build a Bowel disease test and a leukemia test. But we could build so much more tests by partnering uh, with pharma industry. So we see a future where every patient can access the tests they need. So please join us on that mission. Thank you very much. Thank you, Celestine. Let's begin with the questions. Great. So tell us more about the hardware. Did you, you know, develop it in-house? Do you just outsource that? Uh, what part of it is yours? So we're not really using the, we're leveraging the existing hardware. So on the current workflow, people, the hospitals, they need to run complicated machines. They need specialized workflow. They need a whole protocol to do that. But what we do is really that we're focusing on the reaction, the PCR reaction itself. So we are engineering the, a highly multiplex uh, reaction. So what we do is really the, the kit, in a way, the, 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 the reaction, all the reagents. And then we're offering that, and that, you could see that has a cartridge. That is compatible with the existing PCR machines. So that's the hardware. So we're not selling, we're not building hardware, which is a huge advantage when you get on, the, on that market. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, sounds awesome and also very scary that there is such a monopoly. I had no idea. Um, you, had, you mentioned you had 20 million uh, in uh, LOIs. 
what is your path to getting those to actual conver commercial contracts? Right. So. The pathway to get there, um, we're starting to, right, so we got a test that is validated, that, that is preclinically validated. So now, that works. But we need to build the final kit. That is our development phase. So right now, we're raising three million to build uh, our own lab. And with that lab, we'll be able to, to, to develop that final kit. When we have the, once we have the kit, we'll have to do the manufacturing. Manufacturing, we don't have to set up an, a huge manufacturing. We're more, it's more like assembling GMP components. And once we have that um, final kit, we'll be able to run uh, our clinical study. It's a, is, that's going, going to be a retrospective study, which is, again, so much faster because we have that biosimilar approach. So the LOIs that we have, those are some of those, the, the hospitals you see there, so you have really the top-notch hospitals in Europe. Um, so basically, they are going to be participating, in, they'll be with us partnering for the, for the study. Once we are in 2020, 2026, we'll be able to submit for FDA submission and see a market in Europe. And that's when we'll be on the market by 2027. Is it the regulatory approval or why is there only one company doing this if, if it can be distributed? And how are you gonna overcome that main challenge if it is? Well, on the market, technically four tests exist, but the, that, that's why there is a monopoly because the main company has well over 90% of the market share. And the reason why it's not uh, distributed right now, it's really because of the, the, the technical limitation. It's really hard to decentralize that. If you would want, right now, with the existing technology, you'd need, you'd need to ask a hospital to take on a really complicated workflow. And even if they wanted to take that workflow, it's such a complicated one that you get variability that compound that many times when you have that many steps to run. And that's why you don't have a test that, that's robust enough to be decentralized. And essentially, because we are simplifying the whole process down to a single PCR reaction, that's why we could really unlock that decentralized approach. So that's, that's the reason why we can really disrupt that. It's enabled by the technology we, we developed. Still time for one question, yeah. Um, I think this is a great case. Just maybe one question, given that you guys are backed by YC and now seeking venture money. How do you make sure that this is a case where one plus one equals three and not two? Like, why is it not linear growth only? Oh, well, because if we were limited to one single uh, test, that would be a linear model. It would be a company with a single test, but it's a platform technology. And so everything we do is, is, is ML-driven. We, we've built different uh, models. And so it took us basically a year and a half to build this first test. But the next one is going to take us six months. And the one after that, probably three months. So that's how we can really scale to a massive portfolio of tests. And that's why the, the partnerships could also help scaling that portfolio. Thanks a lot, Celestine. Thank you very much.